It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I've got my last beer that I've chosen to review from the Little Craft Beer Festival as of April, end of April 2022. Um, I've had lots of comments, so I've posted a lot of the beer reviews by now. I've had lots of comments from you guys from this or for this beer, the Drygate uh, Brewery Double Derigable Peach Raspberry Smoothie IPA at 7.3% ABV and the general consensus from you guys um, in the comments box is is that it's it's not a very nice beer of course I'm here to make my own mind up on this beer but it almost slightly feels like I'm on the back foot with this one but yeah I've got to put my uh, reviewing hat on I've got to put my kind of like um, go into this beer review Pretending I know nothing about this beer and see what I think about it. But Smoothie IPA, you all kind of know what I think about this kind of style of beer already. I can only hope it's good. I don't want it to be bad. I'd like to think that it could be good. Uh, it was £1.79 this was for the can. Good levels of smoke on the can opening. Now, what I will say, what I will say is that I've had lots of the dry gate beers and I've liked quite a lot of them. I quite like the, I think they produce the disco forklift truck. That's quite a decent beer, if I'm honest. Well, it used to be. I've not drank it in years. Uh, we have a very pinky coloured beer. We have a three to four finger slightly pinky pillowy cloudy head. As I rock the beer back and forth you can see the carbonation rising up the glass. It looks smoothie-like. If you look at the the way the beer's rolling around in the glass, you can definitely see that kind of, yeah, smoothie. Thick, creamy body to the beer. The head's not going anywhere either. That head's staying exactly where it is. Get the aroma. Wow. Wow. That is definitely peach. It reminds me of something. What did I used to drink years ago that had this amount of peach in it? Ah, I know. I, I tell you, I tell you exactly. I tell you exactly what this smells like. Peach tea. You know the cans of peach tea you used to be able to buy? I've not seen it in years. Peach blooming tea. This is what this smells like. Like exactly like peach tea. It will be the same. It's got to be. It simply has to be the same flavourings that they use in peach tea to make this beer. It has to be. I quite like a peach tea, actually, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Um, what do I think this could take? If they, if they called this, I think, Drygate, they should have called this peach tea beer. I think it would have been a better way of convincing the, 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 the public to to try and enjoy this. I think you've got to go with, if you're going to use the same peach flavourings that they use in peach tea, then why not just call it a peach tea beer? There's a little bit of raspberry as well. Raspberry lollipop. 
raspberry popsicle that you would have had as a kid. Raspberry lollipop, raspberry ice cream. Raspberry and peach. It smells quite interesting, actually. It really does. Um, let's dive in. <laughs> oh my goodness me, that is disgusting. Oh, that is disgusting. Whoever thought, whoever went, you know, you can imagine. Let's get the rest of the beer in and we'll, we'll you know, I'm, I'm going to have a laugh at this stage. Because if I don't laugh at this stage, I'm going to cry. Oh my goodness me, that is Terrible, terrible. One of the worst beers I've ever tried in my life. If I don't laugh, I'm going to cry. So I'm going to have a joke at this stage. Here's my joke. To the man who tasted this beer like this. With his clipboard. Yeah, does that, does that. And went, yeah, you know, yeah. I'm going to sell that all over the country. <laughs> I'm going to stick this atrocious beer all over the UK in Lidl's. And, and you can imagine, you can imagine the people in Lidl, Lidl's now. You can imagine them, maybe they're watching this video, I don't know. They're holding their heads in their hands going... Oh my goodness me, what are we what what are we selling in our in our shops? This does nothing for dry drygate brewery. This does absolutely nothing for Lidl. I can I cannot imagine a single person in the world who would enjoy this beer. I just cannot imagine it. It is terrible. Terrible. And I know I get the odd comments. I get the one or two comments from these beers ago. Actually, I did. But you, you, you know, those people generally come from the brewery. They, you know, they're being paid or, they, you know, it's part of their job and to, to defend the company. I mean, if they want to defend the company, rightly, uh, it's up to, it's up to them. But this beer is undefendable. I'm sorry, it's undefendable. The, 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 the brewer up at Drygate, when asked to produce this sort of beer, must have his head, head in his hands. And if he doesn't have his head in his hands by now, then he just probably just doesn't care for it. He, he's probably just like, you know, at this point, I just want my paycheck at the end of the month and I just couldn't give a monkeys. You know, it's, it's that sort of thing. Um... Shocking. Absolutely, unbelievably shocking. The astringency. The astringency from the bitterness, the artificial astringent flavours from the raspberry and the peach. I don't think there's any way back now for these lactose-infused smoothie lollipop ice cream wacky beer I, I just don't think there's any way back for these beers now i think that the, the 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 one or two breweries out there which took it seriously took this style seriously who who actually made a decent job of making a lactose ipa with 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 fruit flavors in there and it tastes decent i think the amount of rubbish out there Absolute rubbish from your likes of home bargains to this trash in Lidl's. It's ruined. Absolutely ruined. There's just no way back. The reputation has been dragged through the mill that much. The, 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 it's laughable now. This is absolutely laughable rubbish. It's 
awful, awful. I can't imagine. In fact, I've, I had a nice little thumbnail made for the video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the thumbnail of the video. I know exactly what I'm gonna put the thumbnail up of the, of, the, of this video now. Um, I had, I just mentioned, I just mentioned a few minutes ago. I enjoyed Disco Forklift Truck. I, I thought the Drygate beers, some of them were really, really good, honestly. But this, this is just, it's cloiny. It tastes like cordial. You know, if you just had a sip of cordial straight from the bottle, you know, like this sort of thing. Tesco Quadruple Strength Orange. Think of that thick cordial there and just think of this, the amount of cordials and peach flavours and raspberry and whatever muck they put in this beer. It's shocking. It's laughable. And as of the last beer that I've drank from this recent April 2022 Little Craft Beer Festival. That is, without a shadow of a doubt, the worst. The worst Little Craft Beer Festival yet. That was shocking. That has done little, no favours whatsoever in the beer world. In fact, in fact, I've stopped shopping at Lidl recently. I've had a few issues with a few different things, uh, foods, and I, I don't go there. I used to use their app. I used to go and I used to save up the 100 quid and spin the wheel and all that kind of stuff and, and have £10 off my shopping when I spent 200 quid. I used to do all of that. I used to buy all my meat there. But I've just found lately... I, I, I'm shopping elsewhere. I'm shopping elsewhere. I, I don't even. I've uninstalled the app from my phone. Um, everything is taking a dip. Everything is taking a dip, as far as I'm concerned. But the beer, the beer, this craft beer festival might be my last. It might be my last. I don't know. If I if I have a look at the next little craft beer festival, probably it'll be around October time, twenty twenty two. If I have a look and, and there may be one or two beers that I think might be distinctively drinkable, then I, then I might go up and buy it and give it a go. But at this moment in time, I probably need a good six months now just to forget about little beers entirely. This uh, And as for Drygate, chucking this into little, I'm massively, massively surprised by this company. I'm, I mean, why why ruin your reputation? Why? How does this style, or how does this type of beer get through quality control? How does it get through quality control? It's atrocious, atrocious rubbish. Rating. Zero. Zero out of ten. That is the one of the worst. I nearly said the worst. That is probably as bad as that home bargains peach mambo number five beer. That mango number five beer from from home bargains. That that is terrible, terrible beer. Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.